This is News Hour on Atlantic TV. I am Samuel Esther. On today's stories 2023, no other party can defeat NNPP, says Kwankwaso. Senate threatens to arrest finance ministry officials over missing 113 million naira. We have confiscated counterfeit alcoholic drugs worth over 1 million naira, says Navdak. On entertainment, all I want to preach with Booker Street is culture and unity. Funke Akindele. Presidential candidate of the new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, Rabiu Kwankwaso, has boasted that neither the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, nor the People's Democratic Party, PDP, can defeat the NNPP in the forthcoming 2023 general elections. Kwan Kwaso made the disclosure during his visit to Adoikiti as part of his campaign tour in the southwest part of the country to canvass for votes ahead of the February 2023 general polls. The former governor of Kano State recounted the achievement of his administration when he was the governor, saying such would make life more abundant for every Nigeria citizen if elected come 2023. He also noted that the dilapidated road network in Ekiti State and other states has affected security, economy, and education of the country. Hence, his decision to contest again in order to make the country better. The Senate has threatened the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning officials with a warrant of arrest if the director Cash Department fails to appear tomorrow to provide sensitive documents related to disbursement of service-wide votes and missing 113 million on salary adjustments for Joint Admission Board Matriculation Jam. Speaking yesterday in Abuja, Chairman Senate Committee on Public Accounts, Senator Matthew, representing PDP, Edo South, said the threat became imperative following the absence of the director after he was invited three times but refused to honor the invitations. According to him, another letter was written to the ministry on December 8, 2022 on the issue concerning missing 113 million naira of salary augmentation for JAMP, but there is no response yet. The National Agency for Drug Administration and Control, NAVDAC, says it has confiscated counterfeit alcoholic drinks worth more than 1 million naira in separate rates in Onitsha and Abar markets. Dr. Christiana Esenwa, Deputy Director, NAVDAC's Directorate of Investigation and Enforcement, made this known in an interview with the news agency of Nigeria on Tuesday in Asaba. She said the rates followed a petition by makers of Mowet and Hennessy Spirit drinks. The NAVDAC deputy director said, before the agency's team got to the market, the perpetrators had gotten a tip off and ran away from their shops. She, however, said that the task force recovered exhibits used in the production of the counterfeit drinks from the suspect shops. We'll go for a quick break. When we return, we look at entertainment news. Please stay tuned. Welcome back on entertainment. Funke Akindele has premiered her new feature film, Battle on Booker Street. The new film was premiered at the Landmark Event Center on Sunday, December 11, 2022. Speaking about the new movie, Akindele said, All I want to preach on Booker Street is celebrate our culture, food, and also celebrate oneness and unity in the family, states, and country. The cultural essence is ensuring that we bring everybody together. There is no segregation, no discrimination, and no tribalism. Igbo, Yoruba, and Hausa coming together, just preaching unity in Nigeria. That is all we have for you today on News R. For more stories, kindly visit our website www.atlantictv.org and do well to follow us across all our social media platforms to stay informed. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.